Good afternoon, this is Steve Crocker presenting the Jazz Lockdown program. Jazz leads uh, archive material um, recorded at Seven Arts and Inkwell. Uh, jazz, blues, South African music and some Latin too today. Everything from big bands to small groups. Musicians like Dennis Rollins, Harry Allen, the Patchwork Jazz Orchestra, Trish Clues, Big Boy Bloater, Bounye and Sueli Gil. But to start, a sax man, Tony Kofi, playing the music of Cannibal Adderley, Del Sasser. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was Tony Kofi on saxophone, Alex Davis trumpet, Alex Webb piano and Andy Kleindert on the bass with Alfonso Vitale on drums. Recorded at Seven Arts in 2019 as part of the Portrait of Cannibal tour that uh, Tony Kofi did. Next we go to Inkwell for some blues. <laughs> This is I'm Drunk Again. Wasn't that great? That was Big Boy Bloater with a tune originally recorded by H. Bomb Ferguson and also made famous by Fats Domino called Drunk Again. Big Boy Bloater played at our Blues Fest at Inkwell in 2014. Next we've got some Latin jazz from singer Sueli Gil. She's from Portugal. She's been making a big name for herself here in Leeds. And Gary Clarkson made this lovely video of her at Seven Arts late last year. Sueli with her group and Masquinada. And now, go on guys, the last boogie of the night. Harry, thanks for coming as well. Ana Luisa, Zoledaia, you have no, no excuse. Luisa from Vestia. 
Nice. That was uh, Sueli Gil with Masquinada. That's Matt Cliff on flute, Josh Schmout on drums, Kieran Gunter guitar, Sam Dutton Taylor on bass, Tim Cook on percussion, and of course Sueli on vocals. Now, you don't often hear Pink Floyd played on a jazz show, but here's Dennis Rollins about to change all that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dennis Rollins, Velocity Trio, with Pink Floyd's Money. Pedro Segundo was on drums, Ross Stanley on Hammond, and uh, of course we had uh, the wonderful Dennis Rollins on trombone. Next we've got uh, Harry Allen, a mainstream jazz sax player, no stranger to the UK. Native of New York City, a multi-award winning sax player, uh, considered to be one of the finest mainstream saxophonists on the world seen today he's been playing jazz ever since he was a teenager back in the 1980s and he has over over 30 recordings of his name having won three gold discs he's heard here with his uh, quartet and some boogie woogie Thank <laughs> you. 
was Harry Allen on sax, Andrea Pozza on piano, Simon Wolf on bass and Anthony Pianchietta on drums a year ago at Seven Arts. The Patchwork Jazz Orchestra are a London-based millennial big band, a collective of 17 of the finest young musicians in London, using an ensemble as a platform for fresh sounds and ideas from a new generation of jazz musicians. And the BBC J to Z radio programme were there to record it at Seven Arts, with Jamoki Fajola being the MC for the night. So here they are, the Patchwork Jazz Orchestra, with cross-platform interchange. Thank you. 
we have sax woman uh, Trish Clues, who she appeared at Seven Arts with her band My Iris, which featured uh, Mike Walker on guitar, Gwilym Simcock on piano and James Madron on drums. The track's called Atlas. I'll let her introduce it. This, this event um, with a tune called Atlas, which is from um, my second album, And in the Night Time She Is There, um, both of which are for sale. <laughs> I'm sure everyone will be happy to sign copies if you would like. Um, and uh, we, did, we were playing this in um, Walton-on-Thames uh, last week, and uh, someone in the interval had said to me that they didn't like the fact that I dedicated a tune to a beach in California and not one from... Yorkshire. So last week, um, Atlas was dedicated to Margate, of all places. Um, indeed. So who's, who, what, where's it going to be? Scarborough. So Atlas tonight is for... <laughs> so on that note... <laughs> Thank you. 
And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. On the Jazz Lockdown programme, we have today's raffle. All you have to do is to get the right answer to the question I'm going to give you and to let us know. And if it's the right answer, we'll send you some Wensleydale cheese to the first lucky winner. The year 1959 was an important year in the world of jazz. There were some very important jazz albums recorded that year. And all I want you to do is just name me one of those albums. The name of the album, famous jazz album recorded in 1959. And here's some clues. Charlie Mingus recorded one. Miles Davis recorded one. John Coltrane recorded one. And so did Dave Brubeck, as indeed with many others as well. So just name me one album recorded in 1959. And the Wensleydale cheese from our today's raffle might be yours. So you can send the answers to info this is, uh, via email info at jazzleads.org.uk or just reply to us on Facebook or any other social media and the first person who wins, first person to get the right answer will win the prize. Okay, the last one today. This is Leeds band Ubunye. South African uh, music played beautifully. This was from last year's Village Jazz Festival and it was recorded at Seven Arts.
finish off today's programme with uh, Obunye playing their lovely South African music. And what a night that was. That was uh, part of the uh, Village Jazz Festival in Chapel Arlington last September. Fantastic evening. Full of uh, gospel music, full of jazz, full of South African sounds. Really excellent band. So that's it for today. Don't forget to go online and purchase some of the CDs of the albums you've heard. Who knows, knows what the future will be for live music. You need to support musicians at this time all we can. So don't forget to, to tune into Chapel FM radio station from East Leeds uh, this Thursday evening. James Fernie and I will be presenting a new jazz programme uh, starting on International Jazz Day, which will be nice. It's on the evening, on Thursday evening, and it'll be about jazz in Leeds. So we'll be hearing all about uh, jazz uh, being presented by online by musicians, and we'll be hearing about the clubs and what they're doing, and lots of your stories as well. So that'll be good fun. That's on 94.6 FM or online. It's www.chapelfm.co.uk. Name of the programme is Jazz Unlocked. So I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.